As long as you are alive, you always have the chance to start again. Welcome back to a brand new series of City Skylines 2 in the city of Port Waikato. I will be playing this series with unlimited money and all progress unlocked. So we are at the starting square. I will begin by deleting the existing road and continue the four lane highway further towards the north of the map. This will help us handle the traffic better as we move more into the valley. Next, I will begin working on a simple diamond interchange with dedicated left turns. We have a section of the highway with key walls. I am going to place an arterial going across at this location. I will start by using the terraforming tools. First, I will lower the ground using road upgrade tool. I tried to upgrade the section to raised, but it didn't work. So I will delete the highway first and redraw the highway as a bridge. For the slip road, I use the slope tool to build a gentle slope. Using the curve tool, I will go out by maybe say 115 units and then curve it into the highway. Now for dedicated left turns, I will use the slope tool again and curve it to the outer node of the slip lane. Then I created a node and upgraded this section to a two lane one way highway. I will repeat the same process for the rest. Now comes the part where we use the road upgrade tools to enforce left turns and also stop vehicles going straight through the slip lanes to get back onto the highway. With the interchange now almost complete, I will use the terraforming tools to gently slope the arterial back up while respecting the terrain lines of course. For this side, I will have to gently curve the road around the small hill. The other side is quite flat, so I will go straight and then curve around the waterfront. For this, I placed a straight section where I ideally want them to be and then using curve road tool I connected them. Coming back to the interchange, I didn't like the embankments on the side of the highway. So using road upgrade tool, I upgraded the race section to have keys on both sides. In order to preserve the lane dynamics, I upgraded a small section of the arterial to a six lane two way road. This will give us dedicated turning left turn lanes and merge lanes for the incoming traffic. With the lane mathematics taken care of, I can now get rid of the two traffic lights. The interchange is ready, the arterial is ready, it's time to go into the city layouts and zoning. But before we go, let me quickly use terraforming tool to clean the terrains around the keys. Mm -hmm. 
Let's go into a quick time lapse for the road layout. Once the layout is ready and the services like electricity and water is taken care of, we can start the simulation. For electricity, we will start with a basic substation and connect this to the pylons importing electricity. We will start producing our own electricity in future episodes when we expand the city. Moving to waters, in City Skylands 2, we have underground water as a natural resource, as well as the conventional pumping stations from lakes and rivers. I'll go for some underground water pumping stations and because we are playing with unlimited money we will go overboard and place around 6 of them. But that is fine, we will need them anyways as the city grows. I will now create some internal road layout for the industry area. For water treatment, I will place a couple of treatment plants near the substation and this concludes the services for now. Let's quickly get to zoning now. I will start with some low residential buildings. These low residential will primarily be on the south side of the arterial and we will slowly transition into medium density as we move closer to the highway. High density residential will be in the CBD area which we will build in the coming episodes.
Although I use mods available on Thunderstore for City Skylands 2, I'm not aware of any mod that can toggle the zoning on a road. So I have been using pedestrian path to manipulate the zoning to have the building plops on roads where I want them to be. For commercial, I would place some of them on the arterial road as well as create free commercial pockets. But in doing so, I will always try and zone less commercial as required since City Skylands 2 is notorious when it comes to commercial demand and the lack of worker. Next I plopped an elementary school. This will add a level of education to our citizens. I have also added a playground as an upgrade. Let's get back to zoning again. With unlock all mode, we have huge demands for residential of all kinds. I will stick to low residential for now till we move on to the other side of the arterial. We have enough residential and commercial for now. So next I will start working on zoning some industries. This is where our citizens will work. Again, it's very important to have a balance between residential and industries as more of any kind can result in either unemployment or lack of workers. Next, I moved north of the arterial and started zoning some townhouses. This is a very nice addition to City Skylands too and helps bridging the gap compared to the conventional low and high density we had in City Skylands 1. The townhouse assets are extremely realistic and really adds to the visual appeal of the city. Next my OCD hit me and I had to rezone the townhouses to ensure that townhouses are aligned in terms of their orientation. This is very important to me because the whole point of townhouses is uniformity. Uniform buildings aligned in a specific manner. I also got rid of the few smaller townhouses that plopped to get that uniformity. As I said before, I used paths to manipulate the zoning to the inner roads and then zone the townhouses again. In this method, once the building has plopped and finished construction, I remove the path to use the vacant spot. After this, I plopped a large parking lot next to the school and in the heart of this area. Unlike City Skylines 1, Citizens don't carry pocket cars in City Skylands too, so I needed to ensure that the city has ample parking options. You can also play around with the parking charges to make more money for your city, but for now I'll leave it at its uh, default value. After this, I upgraded my collector to have white sidewalks with trees. This is to stop people from parking on this street. Currently, it is a two-lane, two-way road, but I may upgrade this to a four-lane if required. Next, I moved back to the south of the arterial and started working on creating some zoning spaces first, and then started zoning some low residential. Let's get into another quick time lapse and I'll see you on the other side. With residential taken care of, I moved back to north again 
to create a shopping center. I also placed a medical clinic to add to the attraction level of our city. This should get the residential demand up again. So that's all for this episode. Unfortunately, I lost a part of the footage which I had recorded, but you'll be able to see the end result in the upcoming time lapse. If you like the video, please consider subscribing and like the video as it helps reach more people. Have a great Christmas and New Year and I'll see you on the other side. Until then, this is Diplo signing off. I've been driving this train Years in this lane There's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game And I changed it to play How I like rearranged it To my own domain Yeah I got what it takes Made lots of mistakes Taking shots Skipping breaks Feeling lost Feeling great Popping off Singing straight Never stop Never changed All the squad here to play And I've got something to say Yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause No I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never captain space I won't stop till I hear him say oh, oh.